Hello everybody, thank you for checking out my video and today we are continuing the lessons on transversal and today's lesson is transversal problems with equations um, just a slightly bit more complicated but pretty much the same premise okay so in the previous lessons we talked about transversals and how they make angle pairs and and alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles same side interior, same side exterior angles. But they also make acute angles and um, obtuse angles. Okay, so if you got two acute angles, they're going to be equal. And you got two obtuse angles, they're going to be equal. But if you got an acute and an obtuse, or an obtuse and an acute, then they're going to add up to equal 180. Okay. And that's the main premise on how we solve these equations. So let's take a look at a couple of examples and go through them. Okay, so here we've got a transversal. And we're saying that all of these lines, this th your transversal is this, this letter here. Oh, it doesn't give it a letter. But this line here is your transversal. And that these lines, L, M and N are all parallel. So you've got multiple pairs of angles here. You know, two, three quads of angles, three, three, four sets of angles. But it seems a little bit more complicated than it really is. You just got to stay with the basic premise of, okay, let's look at our angles. Can we set them equal and can we solve what we got going on? All right. So here we've got an angle. And this is 140 degrees, and it's an obtuse, bigger than 90. But this angle here is an acute angle. Obtuse, acute. Okay? So, if we go back, you got an obtuse and an acute. So, you got to add them and set them equal to 180. Alright? So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add them together and set them equal to 180. And all we want to do is find the value of x on this one. Don't let the fact that it's got multiple lines get you any, um, cause any confusion. So, we're going to take the 140. We're going to add it. That's that first angle. We're going to add it with 3x plus 16 and set it equal to 180. Let me get that 180 in there. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. Got two constants here. We're going to add those together. And we get 156 plus 3x is equal to 180. Now we're going to isolate the variable. Now we're going to isolate the 3x first by subtracting 156 on both sides. That's going to leave me with 3x is equal to 24. And then we're going to divide by 3. And x is equal to 8. And that's it. That's how you find the value. Okay? Uh, you just got to, the, the main thing is you got to solve the equation to be able to do that. But you also got to recognize is it going to be an acute or an obtuse or one of each or both the same? That's what you got to find out. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, now this one's a little bit more complicated, and I cut off the piece here. But let me explain what's going on. So on this one, you've got two variables you need to solve. You need to figure out what the x is and the y. We got to find out what both of them are, okay? So what we're going to do is take a look at one that has all x's in it first. So if you got something that has an x and an x, those are the two angles you want to work with first because you can set the equation up and then solve. Okay, so let's do that first. All right, I'm going to zoom in here. And I've got 4x plus 6, this angle, which is an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. And then 6x minus 16, which is an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. So these two angles are equal, so we set them equal. 
All right, so I get 4x. plus 6 is equal to 6x minus 16. And we just solve the equation. Okay, So I want to get the variables by itself. I'm going to move the number to the right here. And that's going to leave me with 4x plus 0 is equal to 6x same sign find the sum negative 22 now I'm gonna move the 6x over by doing the opposite operation subtract 6x on both sides different signs find the difference 6 minus 4 is 2 the 6 is farther from 0 we leave it negative this will cancel out, and that's going to leave negative 22. Now we just divide by negative 2, and x is equal to a positive 11. Negative divided by negative is positive. All right. So we found out what x is, but we now need to find out what y is. Okay, so that's the next on the agenda to figure out what Y is. So, and I'm going to change colors and move this over here on this side. Now, there's two ways to go about it. I could work with this 4X plus 6 and this Y plus 9, or I could work with this 6X minus 16 and the Y plus 9. But either way works. Either one you want to pick. You, you know, once you find the X, either way of these works. Now, there's a couple ways to go about it, okay? You could just solve what this angle is and then work with this like that, or you could just work with it all together and do one problem, okay? So, let me show you. So, I'm going to work with this 4x plus 6, but like I said, it doesn't matter. This angle is acute, and this angle is acute two acute angles mean they're going to be equal so what I'm going to end up doing is setting 4x plus 6 equal to y plus 9 but the thing is now we know what x is we're going to plug in that x And that x is 11. And now we're going to solve. So you do 4 times 11, which is 44. Plus 6 is equal to y plus 9. Now there's no x's in there at all. And we just need to solve for y. Okay, simplify terms here. 44 plus 6 is 50. Subtract 9 on both sides. And y is equal to 41. So we get our answer. We got x is 11 and y is 41. So sometimes you'll get some problems like this. It's just a tad bit more uh, complicated a little bit. But do not stress stay stay principal make sure you look to see if you got two of the same or one of each and that's pretty much it that is uh user transversals to solve equations here i want to thank you for checking out my video and have a nice day